Good morning, students. Standard three, subject English. Today we will be doing a topic. Look before you leap. Look before you leap. Long, long ago, there lived two frogs in a pretty little pond. Colorful water lilies grew in the pond. Fishes started about and tiny insects buzzed around. The pond was full of life. The two frogs were very close friends. They had plenty to eat in the pond. All the day long they played about, jumping from lily pad to lily pad and diving headlong into the pond. They were the happiest little frogs in the world. Now children, our story opens in a pretty little pond. Now as you describe, as you can see, the pond is described as beautiful and with lilies growing, water lilies. Water lilies are water plants that you can see in the picture on your right. And then there were fishes, beautiful fishes that moved around, darted about, moving suddenly, move, moving through the water, moving through the uh, grass or the water plants that grow, darted about and tiny insects buzzed around. And because there was lily, there were lilies, there were insects also. Insects, as you know from the lesson of the honeybee, come around and buzz around the places where there are flowers. So that is why it is said the pond was full of life. There was water, there was plants, fishes, insects. That is why it was brimming, full of life. The two frogs were very close friends. Now, in this lived our two heroes of the story. Two frogs. Now, how was the life of the frogs in the pond? See, it is given there. They had plenty to eat in the pond. All the day long, they played about jumping from lily pad to lily pad and diving headlong into the pond. They were the happiest little frogs in the world. All day they were jumping and playing. Lily pad. Lily pad is the leaf of the lily. You can see it in that picture on the right. Lily pad. They are large leaves of the and they float on the water. They are large leaves of the lily or the lotus. Now they were jumping from they were jumping and diving from one lily pad to the next lily pad and diving headlong. Headlong means head down and the legs up headlong into the pond. And as they had a lot of things to eat. Because, like you said, what do, what do frogs eat? Insects. And because there were flowers, there were insects. And they had plenty of insects to eat. They were the happiest little frogs in the world. Playing and eating and jumping and having a really good time. Now let us see what happens further in the story. The frogs love the rainy season. But the rainy season that does not last forever. The rain stopped and the weather became hot. Still, there was a lot of water and life in the pond. There was nothing to worry about. In the winter, the frog friends found cozy little places at the edge of the pond. They spent most of their time sleeping and resting. 
now when it was rainy season there were things were growing and they were very happy but the rainy season did not last forever so when the rain stopped the weather changed and became colder and there was a lot of water still in the pond there was nothing to worry about and because there was water there was life and insects were there plants were there so not no worries at all they had plenty to eat and lots of games that they could play and enjoy in the water in winter the frog friends now when winter came when it was winter the cold season became slightly cold and then the frog friends they found cozy little places comfortable cozy warm places on the not in the middle of the pond now they went to the edge to the border of the pond edge of the pond so then now when the winter has come in it is colder in the water it is cold so frogs are animals that can live in land as well as in water we all know that so what did they do from the middle of the pond or from the middle of the water that they were living in they went to the edge of the pond where it was cozy comfortable warm they spent most of their time there sleeping and resting still there was nothing to worry about and things were really good now let us see what happens soon it was summer now the days became very very hot with the hot sun blazing in the sky the pond began to dry without water the lilies dried up there were very few insects to be found the frog friends were worried do you think the whole pond will dry up now it became summer summer as you know is blazing the sun is blazing hot very very hot and soon because of the hot sun the pond began to dry up now things were getting really worrisome because without water the lilies also dried up in the pond when there was no water no lilies and there were no insects also because the insects do not have flowers there were no lilies so why would the insects also come there so now the frog friends were really worried what did they say do you think the whole pond will dry up now as the water began to get less and less one frog is asking the other one hey friend do you think the pond is going to dry up what will happen to us looks like it said the other what shall we do then how shall we live we must search a place where there is plenty of water and food for us you are right it is hard work traveling in this hot sun but there is no other way come let us start the sooner the better if we travel together the search will be easier now as you know they have made a deal they know that this pond is drying up and soon life will become very difficult without water and insects so what did they start doing they started searching for a place where there is water and food for them they said if we travel if we go together and search i'm sure we will find a place that will have enough water and food for us so 
so let us begin now before we are dying here of hunger before this whole pot dries up let us start going so now they start searching for a new place to stay so the frogs left the drying pond and began to look for a watery place they hopped and hopped and became very tired just then one of them saw a well in the distance they rushed to the well the well, well was built in stone and a, had a high circular wall the frogs hopped onto the wall and peeped inside the well was quite deep but there was a lot of water still left at the bottom of the well the friends began to jump for joy now they start searching for some place where there is water they leave the dry pond the pond which is drying up and they start searching for a new watery home they hop and they hop and soon they are tired now it's hard work traveling in the hot sun hopping about and searching for a new place to stay but suddenly good luck they saw a well in a distance far far away in a distance means far far away they could see a well they rush to the well both of them rush excited they go to the well the well was built in stone now the well was a stone well okay and had a high circular wall you know there is a wall around the well so that nothing falls into the well so there was a high wall circular wall circular round in shape the frogs hopped on to the wall now they jump on to the stone wall of the well and peeped inside they look inside the well was quite deep steep and there was a lot of water still left at the bottom of the well and yes what they wanted to see most water at the bottom of the well and what did the friends do thrilled excited they began to jump for joy we are so fortunate lucky fortunate means lucky thank god that we found this well they are saying oh god we are so lucky thank god that we found this well our problem is solved our search has ended we have found a new home let's jump in together one two so they say oh my god our problem is solved one frog says our problem is solved we have got an answer to our problem no worry now our search is ended and now we have got a new home let us jump into the well fast quickly they start counting one two wait friend this well is so deep and there's water left only at the bottom but the other frog says wait 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 friend this well is really very deep it goes very 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 way down and there is what water yes there is water but there is water left at the bottom of the well far below but we can surely dive in however deep the well may be diving is our speciality why do you hesitate so the first frog says are what is wrong with you now even if the well is deep we can dive in we are expert divers speciality diving is our speciality it is our expertise we are expert divers because whole day long in that remember they were diving headlong into the pond so we are expert divers why do you hesitate why are you stopping and waiting why do you hesitate hesitate means stop and wait and think 
So he's saying, why are you hesitating? It has occurred to me that this well is also drying up. If it dries up completely, we will have to leave this well too. So the second frog is more sensible. He says, it just occurred to me. This idea just came to my mind that this well is also drying up. And if it dries up, then again we will have to search for a new place. We will have to go away from this well because if this well dries up, there is no water in the well. How can we live in this well? So we will have to move on and search for a new well then if the well dries up. I agree. But why do you hesitate now? So the first frog is saying, yeah, that is right. If this well dries up, we have to go to another place. But now what is the problem? Now it is not dried up. Now there is still water. It's because I see a problem. We can easily dive into the well. But what if the well dries up? Can we jump so high that we reach the top of this wall? Shall we be able to leave the well like we left the pot? So the second frog says, Are you, don't you see there is a problem? We can go inside easily. Yes, that is right. We are expert divers and you just have to from top you have to jump down. It is easy. But if this well dries up, he says this problem is if the well dries up, we have to jump up when we want to come out. It will be so far away down that how can we climb up? Now coming out of the pond where they lived was easy because it was on flat land. But now from the deep well, how can we leave the well? How can we jump so high that we can get out of the well? It's a problem. You are right, friend, said the other dog, said the other frog. I had not thought of this. It's good that you could foresee this problem. Let's not leap inside. Let's continue with our search. So the second frog says, oh yeah, you are right. You could see this problem before only, beforehand only he could see. 4C, 4 means before, okay, C means see before, he could see the first, second frog could see this problem before, foresee this problem before and saying yes, you, what you are saying is correct, it is good that you could think like this and he says no, we will not leap inside. Leap means jump. Let us not jump inside. It is dangerous because coming out will be a problem. If the well dries up, coming out is going to be a big, big problem. So he says, okay, let's continue with our search. Let us search some other place where we have plenty of water as well as if the water dries up, coming out will not be a problem. And so the two little frogs hopped on to look for a safe shelter. And so they started moving about again looking for a safe home. What is that word given for a home? In this line, what is the word given for a home? Yes, you are right. Shelter. We have done the lesson on animal shelter before. So shelter is actually a safe place. Usually it is used for homes. How well it is said. Look before you leap. How well it is said. In English there is a very popular proverb. Proverb is a popular saying that look before you leap. That means before act 
acting some doing something you have to actually think understand and then act and then do the work so remember thinking and understanding a problem or a situation before you act is very important look before you leap that is a proverb a proverb is a popular saying now let's read the new words that you have come across in the story and i want everybody to write this five times in their book as you normally do and learn the spellings and read it with me lily pad cozy blazing weather insects darted bus headlong worried traveling distance circular hesitate foresee problem children as usual you will read the lesson and then learn learn to read it well and learn the spellings and the new words Thank you and have a nice day